David Elam. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to play the intro and hook lines from In the River by Jesus Culture and Kim Walker. Now, I know a lot of people kind of struggle with this song. In the beginning, uh, it's a little bit hard to get it clean and in the pocket if you're not really comfortable with your pull-offs. So, it involves some pull-offs and uh, it can sound a little bit sloppy. Uh, if without those pull-offs being really nice and clean. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to get your pull-offs to sound great and I'm going to teach you the song as well. Okay, and I went through this with one of my students just the other day and uh, they were kind of struggling with it and they, they didn't actually even know how to do pull-offs. They're a pretty young student and, uh, and by the end of our lesson uh, he was able to do it great. So I, I know that you can do it as well. So I'm going to give you the secrets today. Now, before we dive in, make sure to download the PDF. Uh, there's a link in the description below, and you'll be able to get the tab as well as the D minor scale that this lick actually comes from, so that you can just know where it comes from. You can learn another scale, and uh, if you feel like improvising or maybe just kind of messing around, then you'll have that at your disposal as well. So be sure to download the PDF with the link below in the description. All right, so let's dive in. So again, it goes like this. I'm gonna turn my delay off so you can hear it a little bit better. Okay, so that's the starting lick, all right? Now we're gonna start on the 13th fret of the first string or the E string. And I like to use my third finger. You could also use your fourth finger, okay? But I'm gonna use my third and pull off to my first finger. So when we do this, we're going Okay, we're, there's our first pull off, right? Now, so here's where the rubber meets the road. The secret to a great sounding pull off is you've actually got to use the flesh of your finger. I'm using my third finger. So use the flesh of your finger to pluck the string after you've already hit it with the pick to do your pull off. So you go like this, you go, all right? So it's called a pull off, but it would be better called a pull down. So because you're actually pulling down away from the string to pluck it with the flesh of your finger. Okay. So you've got to practice getting that uh, sort of grabbing the string with the flesh of your finger and pulling off. And that's how you're going to get good volume and good tone. If you actually just pull off the note like this, doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't do anything. The string can't continue vibrating because it stops because you'd like all the finger, right? So you've got to pull down um, away from the string. I would never recommend pulling up, just FYI, but pull down away from the string, all right? And that's gonna keep you in motion. So again, we're going like this. We do that twice, 13 to 10, 13 to 10, so. Okay. Now I like to use alternate picking. I'll go down, up, all right. Then we're going to do the exact same thing on the second string or the B string. So, cool. Now, when you pull off on the second string, you might get something like this. If you're not very comfortable with pull offs, it might sound something like this. Okay you might hit an adjacent string. So let me show you how to avoid that, okay? What I do is just lay my first finger down across the first string so that it actually touches it and without actually fretting it, of course, and it's gonna mute it for you so that you just get this. And so when you pull off, even if you do hit the first string a little bit, uh, with your third finger as you pull off, you're not going to hear that. Okay? So be sure to use your first finger to mute the first string. Okay? Now, uh, after it does the pull offs, we're going to go to the 12th fret of the G string, 10th fret of the G string, 12 again. 10th fret of the B string. So that little line is just Cool? 
So that's that's the whole intro line. It's just. You can throw a little bit of delay on there. And you're golden, right? And maybe some reverb too. Um, okay, so that's the whole intro. It's just very simple. And then after the choruses, it usually, I think it almost always goes back to an instrumental where it does this line again, but it adds a little bit of complexity and uh, the synth comes in with it as well with the guitar and they do it together. So let me show you how that part goes. All right, so same thing starting out. We're gonna go. All right, we, after we go. Uh, then we're gonna jump back down to 10 of the G string. So we're just hitting those three notes. The 10, 12, and then 10 of the B string. So it's just. You gotta make sure to make that jump really clean. Right there. So just practice going back and forth right there. Then, uh, so that's the first part, and then the second time when it repeats, it goes like this. So instead of, we're just gonna go 10 of the G string. 13 of the B string and 10 of the B string. Da, da, da. So it's. is how you play In the River by Jesus Culture and Kim Walker. So pretty simple, all right? It's also how you do effective pull-offs. Remember, the most important thing is to grab the string with the flesh of your finger and pull down, okay? Now, make sure whenever you pull down that you don't like pull, pull the string, you know, pull it up away from the fretboard or, you know, you don't want to do that. So keep the string firm with your first finger. Don't allow your first finger to move. And just pluck that string as you pull down with your third finger or fourth finger, however you want to do it. Cool. So what was your biggest takeaway from this video? What did you, what was your biggest takeaway about hammer-ons? What did you learn today or did you have a light bulb moment? If so, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you're looking for guitar lessons in Garland or even on Skype or FaceTime, uh, I'd love to chat with you about your guitar playing dreams and aspirations. I'm also very close to Plano, Texas, North Dallas, and Mesquite. So if you're interested in scheduling a free trial guitar lesson, all you have to do is text guitar, the word guitar, text it to 972-762-6301. And I will get back to you right away about uh, scheduling a free trial lesson, even just uh, through a webcam. You don't even have to come in person. We can do it through a webcam and kind of chat about uh, what you're wanting to learn, what your goals are for the guitar. All right. So if you're interested in that, please just text me guitar to 972-762-6301. All right. And also, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please hit subscribe, hit the like button. Also, when you hit subscribe, be sure to hit the little bell icon uh, right next to it so that you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. I give away free guitar lessons every week. I give away really, really valuable stuff. So you're gonna be want you're gonna want to subscribe and uh, and follow me on YouTube. All right, and also share this video with your friends that might be wanting to learn this song as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. Talk to you soon.